Today, I'm going to be showing you how we made this laundry soap. The palm kernel oil that I'm going to be using for this video is 5 liters of oil. Now, you can see how shiny and glowy the palm kernel oil is. Actually, it's not how glowy or beautiful the palm kernel oil is that will determine the end result of the soap. That means if the palm kernel oil will be good in the use for soap production or not. So this particular production, I'm measuring 5 liters of oil. In the bit to measure the 5 liters of oil, I used my measurement cup. There are several ways you can measure. You can use your measurement cup, like I'm using 1 liter here, you can use 2 liters. Take 2 liters to measure, then measure 1 liter to make it complete 5. Now because this is a training, I'm actually explaining to the student that Apart from measuring, measuring with the cup, if your container has calibration, which implies that if there is number written on your producing container, you can check the producing container to see the liters of oil, if it tallies with what we have used the cup to measure, so that our production will be accurate. So I'm using 5 liters of oil, like I said earlier. Then I'll be measuring my filler which is the calcium so here is the filler i already measured it into the nylon and i'm pointing the filler into this container the filler is the calcium and there are several kinds of filler we can use in our production so in this case we are using calcium the determinant factor to decide what kind of filler you are supposed to use is dependent on the purpose of the soap soap is it a bathing soap is it a washing soap is it um, something that you want to serve a particular purpose as either a bathing or a washing soap or both. Also, we can also use some other fillers based on their prices. Also, we can use some fillers based on the color that it will bring or give to the product. Some fillers can be chosen because of the environment where we are, which could be because of the cost of that particular filler. But the bottom line is that for this particular production, we have chosen calcium, as the filler. Now I'm going to be measuring in my caustic soda. So I measured my caustic soda and I'm going to be fermenting the caustic soda inside water. Now this particular production is an, say, say semi hot process production. What that implies is that we are going to be pouring our caustic soda into the water like I'm doing and I'll, we are going to be turning it as soon as the caustic soda dissolves. And as soon as the caustic soda is no longer in its opaque form, we are going to be using it in our production. Unlike if we are making the cold process, we are going to soak the caustic soda, pour it from the nylon or from the bowl or whatever container, pour it inside the water like I just did, use turning stick to stir it, stir it continuously, wait a little, stir it again until it is no longer milky until it is no longer opaque like it is right now. After a while, the caustic soda will no longer be having this opaque color. It's going to come out like it will be more transparent. It will be lighter than the milk, as you can see now. Thereafter, we are going to be pointing into our solution. Now, don't forget that if we are making cold process, after dissolving our caustic soda and getting this color that is not longer opaque, we are to leave the caustic soda solution for a minimum of 24 hours. It could be two days, it could be three days, it could be months. But the minimum is 24 hours. However, for a semi hot process, I have dissolved my caustic soda and I am pouring it right into the PKO and the filler that is supposed to be the solution, the base solution. So after doing this, I'll be dissolving my soda ash. Now, soda ash takes a while to dissolve. I'm going to pour in my soda ash into water. I'm going to turn it very well and dissolve. If you have been on this channel, if you have been a subscriber, and you have probably watched the multi-purpose liquid soap, you will agree with me that our caustic soda solution was poured in at once. However, our soda ash solution was poured in little by little. The same is the case in this semi hot process we are doing. Our caustic soda has been poured at once, as you saw it just now, and I'm going to be adding in my soda ash solution little by little. 
So the soda ash also helps our soul to be more. Instead of us to probably have a six liter solution or seven liters, uh, adding the soda ash, some people refer to it as a filler as well. However, the soda ash is also like a, an accomplice with the caustic soda. It also helps in the washing and, of, uh, and in the removing of uh, death, apart from the fact that it makes your soap to be more. Now, I already told us that this soap is a laundry soap and it's a profitable one for that matter. Therefore, it is important for us to add soda ash so that the soap can be more voluminous and so that we'll be able to make profit out of it. A lot of students have learned how to do this. They are making it well. They are doing business. The person, the woman that I'm teaching this, that our children are the one mixing. I already told her that to make five liters, I need a mixer. It is usually very tedious for me. If I make five liter solution, I have hand pain and the hand pain doesn't go for weeks. Therefore, I use machine. So if you are not using your machine, if you are going to be using your hand, it is advisable you make the production bit by bit. Otherwise, you will have to get a mixer. So for this production, because it's man enough, he's using his hand to make, do the mixing while I pour the soda ash as I train them. Now, we train different individuals. We make online, they are, we teach online classes and physical class. As you can see, this particular one is a physical class. We are available for both the online and the physical class. And numbers will be showing on your screen. Send a message to the number to make inquiries as the promo of the bath soap training is on at the moment. So thereafter, we are going to be pouring this, we are going to be adding the fragrance, adding some other things we are supposed to add, and we are going to pour it into our mold. Most of the time when we add our fragrance, there is usually a, 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 a kind of discontinuation. Discontinu there is usually a reaction. Now, these are one of the things that you'll be taught in the paid class. The kind of fragrance to use, the way and the measurement and percentage of fragrance you're supposed to use. After pouring the fragrance and other ones, we poured it into the mode. This particular mode is an 8 liter mode, and that is why it's not filled up because the oil is 5 liters. In addition, with other things, we're able to come out with that result. Now, are you wondering why am I pouring pumpkin oil into the bowl again? Why am I starting the production all over? Yes, for those that are in our paid class, be it physical or online, we encourage them to make their own production. And that is what has happened on this particular day. We have done the major production, which I was pointing the solution and explaining. And thereafter, we bring out a, a percentage of what we have just produced. And the student we do is our own by ourselves. So by so doing, the message and the training seeks better. Most of the students, when you are pouring the chemical or you are mixing it for them, they don't have questions because they are not the one doing the mixing. But by the time you give them the turning stick, by the time you give them the measurement to start their own, they will, it will dawn on them that they are making their own production. And by so doing, they will start having questions. And while having questions, we are very much available to answer their questions and to make them feel at home. Immediately after this production, we are going to be showing how we demoded the, we removed the soap from the mold, demoded it then, we now started the cotton. Now here is the soap. We have to remove the mold and here is our beautiful looking laundry soap. So it is time to do the cotton. So here is the cotton machine. You can contact us for the cotton machine. If you have lent your soap and you are not doing large scale to cut, you can pour it in your silicone mold. Effortlessly, you'll be able to unmold. However, because this is a project that they actually have in mind to make the soap in their school, in their entrepreneurship class, and to sell to some people, we did this soap for them. We taught them how to make it, and we did the cutting. Now, we are done with the cutting, and we have started the stamping. Soap making is a process. You make the soap, you do the stamping, you package it. This is a process, and we are ready to take you step by step through the process from the beginning to the end. So you, if you want to buy your, your mold, if you want to form a name, to be able to make your own stamp, if you want the cutter, if you want to learn the soap, there are so many things we did on this particular uh, day. It took us over a week to make all this production. We made this soap, I, we taught them the cold process, we taught them the hot process, we taught them the semi hot process, we made Omo. We did all these things within a week and they are also able to ask us questions during 
and after the training now after we were done with this the children the students use the soap to form different kind of names they use it to form names like I uh, am um, used from uh, the map good name out of joy because the result was wonderful. Thereafter, we had to package the soap into the containers, into the carton for them to be ready to market and to sell. So the different soaps that were made, both the washing, the laundry one, both the other one that was cold posted that we thought that time too, we packaged everything and we were able to get almost two cartons. This particular carton was filled up, then we made, made another one that was not filled up, but that other one that was not filled up, we were able to put in the other ones that the beauty soap and the um, laundry soap and the other blue one that was cold processed. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.